Guess we could talk about a Chris Luck brood, but there's a TA. That's cool. that's the easy pick. I think it. Again, it, you look at that equation. Okay, Sting is denying himself to a tier two tower. Yeah. Uh, wrapped around. Doesn't matter if he's got half life. He doesn't have enough mana. But he was actually so close to almost killing off. It's the actually much better for Dire. Four creep denies. It, it's worth. It's just worth so much more than a hero kill, especially level one. And wow, up top, as I'm claiming them for missing stuns, they just keep it rolling. He's in trouble now, though. Hold up. There's an edict prepared on the left. Oh, what a shard. Just hold him in. Solo wants to help out. Blind light pushes them away, but the snowball will stay with Epi Kid. And he'll have to walk back, pass through the edict to the tier one tower, but he won't even get that far. Whisper. Look at the CS, man. 21. It doesn't feel like the same thing happens from an invoker. Kunker, three heroes now up on top lane. K1 doesn't have his six just yet. Nice tiebringer from Resolution, looking for the torrent follow up, and they actually just kills off Stinger. The snowball save came a second too late as Lena gets another double stun with the Liar Strike array, creating more space. But K1's got the movement speed and save. There's nothing that will do that for him as he will end up falling down Skullfeld. Seven yet, doesn't matter. That's an easy slay. They found somebody though, K1. Yep. Inside the jungle, the other advantage for Vodas Pro by taking Rank. out the... You go up top, you play with your strong hero instead, this conquer with the boat, all of a sudden you have a free lane. So he's got a Midas, he's been chilling, Whoa. he is very happy now. This is really good onto Chris Luck, he's still got the meld available, actually he's out of mana, trying to switch himself over to Intred Spore, there's the Willow with Solo, oh, wow. wraps around from behind, Chris, Lacuna Blade will put him down from save. And Skullfell would like some revenge, but he wants to try and fight this. Whisper doesn't have the damage from Edict. Stinger will try and control him while, well, it's own battle resolution, so low on life. 200 HP, Chris Luck went on him, but that now buffs up the Bloodseeker so he can chase up no one in the mid. Then Laguna him down, K1 not feeling too good about this, but he's still got that high movement speed, turning his attention towards Solo, but the Light Strike Array is from safe. They just continue time and time again, creating space. Not enough for Solo to survive, but no one puts down the Ice Wall, keeps everyone nice and slow, buying time for Epi and Resolution to now come in towards the mid. The Split Earth dodged out by no one trying to regenerate up on the hill. Won't happen. Singer finds the kill, but another great two-man torrent. Epi, he can't get enough damage out, but the snowball, here we go. We're all rolling ourselves over towards the Kunga, but a three-man light strike array. Save is doing the work. Singer will save himself as well with the purifying flames and the heal into Tusker. He's got the oh false promise, but another three-man <laughs> stun. Beast Ghost, together we dive, together we stun, and together we die. Skull fell under the tier one tower. Chris Luck still trying to bow this one out looking for the kill over on safe but k1 uh -oh. now he'll uh -oh. join the fight a double kill for epi but the blood seeker is all uh -oh. over the mid lane a triple kill for k1 three kills so and three. Is coming from <laughs> the time to fortify that edict just rips apart the tower triple tps coming in from virtus pro and with the next mark to spot whisper nice. you'll set this up he knew the timing from resolution was going to come they torrent they tor actually just tornado everything that starts with a t goes in towards beast coast whisper will get some extra damage out before he'll end up dying the skullfell was nearby but that extra damage allows k1 and chris luck to come in to kill off resolution and move to the next target with the ta trap solo can't go God, anywhere and a great wow. shards the mindset from skullfell making sure that no one can't make his break into the tree lines so Solo, he'll end up dying in a second, but you know the bigger one they want. They want to kill off no one. That's why they've just left the Keeper of the Light to chase after this Invoker. He doesn't really have anything to give right now. What have we got? Ghost Warp, but he doesn't have the mana. Short by 10. No one can't keep the run going through the trees. Dude, they're so sick. Able to actually connect and silence up the Wraith King. And with the will o clears up the tree lines. Epi was hiding inside of that one, so K1 can move over. They'll kill up the Wraith King, and he didn't actually have reincarnation. The shards, it goes straight through resolution, and he will get the snowball off, but no other will control until the Walrus Punch. Waiting it, and here we go. Rupture up, resolution's like, well, come and play in my shipyard. Nope, that's not gonna help me. Hold him. I kinda wanna see him. <laughs> what is he doing? It's called Bell. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, the first cancel made sense. He's like, oh, we don't have any TP cancel. I gotta make sure I can. So, no one. He'll be the first one to be ruptured up. Skullfell's like, well, can I do something with this? Shards, try and block him around. He'll what snowball, actually dodge both the Wraithfire Blast and the Tarn coming over towards the Invoker. Toss him up with a kick, and that actually gives some extra damage in, but it's still the death of Skullfell. They haven't finished the melee racks. K1's working pretty hard at it. Now he'll burn the BKB, and maybe it's time to fight. Epi Kid, very low on life, but they've already found the extra kill. Stinger being dropped, but K1's the big one. He's going ham in the back lines. Needs to keep running Dude, away, however. The Metastar dodges the Wraithfire Blast. 
last Neon get back up the hill and away to safety. The same cannot be said for Lashrak, however. Whisper up in the air, but then K1 is a re-engage, jumping in the back lines, right on top of the leaner. Another defensive, you also have the Whisper with the deafening blast, being pushed back around. No oh one can God. finally kill him up, but no one's so low. K1, he's disarmed, he can't attack. Now he finally can get back into a two, three, four attacks to kill off no one. Then he turns his attention towards the Kanker. How much damage does he do? He stops to deny Kreeth as opposed to hitting the hero. Meanwhile, there's a TA on your top rack. He's going to take out the range. Now working on the melee. Takes out Epic Kid. Oh my god, oh he's just going to kill him. No, 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 no. Not like no. this. <laughs> GG, yeah, get the hell out of here. VP just got worked. This 22 over. to 20. I don't care if they're down in kills. Beast Coast is miles ahead in style. Holy shit. I thought Cactus was like, like in the Global main. sounds him before he gets his ulti off. Wow. Like Dazzle mid. This is, I, okay. I love this pick Whisper, right now. copping a lot of damage. And he actually is. He's going for mid lane. He's got Curse available. He starts off with the Glaives, however, and Chris is just going to Avalanche Solo. The first blood's nice. up on top lane. Which should be Whisper going down, and Chris Lock instantly follows after. So, two different lanes. Solo now denying himself to the mid tier two tower. Reset. He's just going to wall up again. If he can't go anywhere, K1 can just keep going. As you said, because the fighting's happening in the other lanes, K1's just loving it. You'll have uh, save yep. to help him survive this, however. But disruption oh. out. Look for the follow-up split earth. Gotta get the timing right. K1 connected on solo. Taze on top from K1. Can't do anything. He buffed himself <laughs> over on Silencer. Has to walk himself out of the blood right. Save, gonna go for the disruption. Scott fell still uncertain what he wants to do. Sting will die in the meantime, but a nice spike. Carapace gets the followings done into the Silencer because he does have the curse on him. Solo will get the plus two. He'll lose his life for careful. it, but it won't stop K1 from continuously diving. The save under the tier one tower. Support's coming in. K1 has to cut through the trees and now run away as no one will arrive in the lane. Mm -hmm. Almost. Well, top four in the net worth. No one's being a... Bit too bossy to think you can surpass him. But Vot Votus Pro can really punish. So yeah, you've got that attack over in mid. So that's problematic, at least to say for the draw. It is by far your best tool for pushing towers, for farming, dealing damage in fights. Just get oh. this up ASAP. Bit of a problematic position for resolution. He still has a hell of a lot of damage. Scott has to move away. Remember, he's ruptured up, and that's why Sting is here. It's like, all right, we'll wall him, we'll attack him from range. Now K1's like, all right, I can, like, oh, I, I, I can come back in again. The edict is gone <laughs> in his backpack. Starts with disruption off, and then the jump. Whisper, really nice hit through the back lines, combining with the impale. No one gets deleted so quickly, and Whisper, under the color of that rolling thunder, just keeps bouncing around, never-ending chain stuns onto resolution to bring him down too. And Virtus Pro pushing up into the high ground, felt confident enough they put the Observer Ward down, then they lost their entire team. Yep, and man. the Necro books as well to make Perhaps sure that they're doing high res. Next assassin, right behind him, needs to start with a stun, but okay, they'll work with Chris Luck and uh, then a quick chain. Definitely not great. Nice silence. Yeah, Pango's having a hard time getting out of this one. He really needed to get that roll off, but couldn't do it, Tiny. Good avalanche, looking for at least a revenge kill into Solo. Toss any kind of tree and he's looking for it. He's able to claim it. He claims it after death, however. That means there's a plus. Yeah, two. Now yeah here we Hector's go. Hector's here. <laughs> get on out of here. Hey, Rez. <laughs> this is going to be your fourth death of the game. Rolling Thunder from Panko, jumping forward, making sure the Shrek doesn't even get the stun and allows him to move forward, looking for another target and the Drow Ranger. Again, Sansa comes in with the help of Dazzle Bloodseeker, having a very hard time. The Blood Rite will kick in. K1 needs to find this kill so he can stay in the fight, but the Storm, as well as the Wall, no one and Drow Ranger trapped in here, but where's the follow-up damage? Oh, Without the Bloodseeker, it's very difficult when the Panko does not hit that Swashbuckle, but Chris Luck will try and do the work instead. Maybe if one more attack. Now, there he goes. Epic Kid will finally fall. SD did delay this. He'll He'll end up dying as well. He might bring Stinger down with him with the poison. Oh, it, it does actually connect and save one hit away. Chris Luck will do it. Resolution. It started with his death and it'll end with uh, his kill if he can catch out Chris Luck. But there's no. He, he even missed the swashbuckle, split the uprights. Uh -huh. Otherwise, that fight goes oh, a bit better go for Beast Coast. The wall's up. The Observe Ward on the hillside. It saw everything they needed to. And Solo at least gets the curse off. Doesn't commit the global silence, however. There's more support arise. Whisper into the Rolling Thunder. Needs this to battle on top of resolution gets the following chain stuns into save needs to get down this hill however the blood right comes in and the swashbuckle away to safety no one ruptured up they feel like going in a nix assassin throw him in turn on the spike carapace get any kind of chain stuns you possibly can but then epic kid sits on what? the high ground does all the damage he needs to stinger once again trying to work it with chris luck but they can't get it when defensive drops is there from safe finally they will do so no one will fall once more yes chris luck on the wrong side of the tracks turns to, again for the avalanche toss combination where is his friend whisper comes in, gets the disarm on the draw ranger, but now with the swashbuckle, he's gone in a little bit too deep. Tiny will definitely die, but he shield crushes himself down 
The Rush Necro 3 just kind of feels off. Oh, it's just too expensive. He knows the Sentry Wood is there. They already had that little da dabble with Nyx, but the Spike Carapace ends up sending him back. But the Pulse Nova and the Edict damage with Global Silence. Nyx Assassin tries to use the Shrine to stay alive, but it won't happen. But so much damage has been done that now it's K1's turn just to kill everybody. He wants to try and catch up to Epic Kid. It won't work, however. He'll kill off the two supports instead, and then he can move <laughs> himself over the Drone Ranger while they get back to safety with no other stuns. He'll be able to just TP home. No one will not be so lucky. They'll break the egg as the immortal. And once again, it feels like a team is very willing to fight into Beast Coast and very willing to die to Beast Coast. It's this Bloodseeker, man. Stop giving him <laughs> a bit more time. The Purge slowing him down. And then with the storm, they have to run around it. Lashrak, okay, here we go. Bloodseeker, it's time to fight. Oh, and with my huge swashbuckle all over him is Solo, who got ruptured up. And they just shield crash their way in. Pango copping so much damage. They still need to focus Epic Kid at some point. Now Whisper will finally join in. The BKB is a good. huge thing for Beast Coast because now Pango can rolling thunder if he can join the fight. They're already in the way. Lashrak has to BKB nice and early on. But all these low heroes. But it's K1 who gets focused down by Epi. They do get the fast stuns. But now Whisper rolls through. A three-man disarm into a secondary shield crush. Epi Kid, he's kept alive by the Shallow Grey. But he's brought over towards Stinger who should be able to finish the job. Actually, he does almost no damage. But yeah with the help of Whisper, they bring him down. But underneath the shrine, a glimpse, goodbye save. His illusions can remain. Whisper kind of trumped another jump forward, another shallow grave, solo surviving, Skullfeld. The curse will wear off. Oh, good. I know. Okay, with Courier. Going off. Okay, with Courier as well. That thing just delivered. It's going straight over the top of everyone else. The rupture is out. Resolution, good storm in the back lines. There goes your save. If they can keep the stuns going, Global Silence returns around. And maybe now with the Shallow Grave, save can do some work. Purging over onto K1. They're bouncing around Roshan. Finally, Epic Kid. He's going to yours be yours up and then brought down on the fall. Chris Luck finding that kill. Man, Bloodseek is so lucky. Misses uphill from Solo. So K1's able to survive, but the battle continues. Resolution begins his own TP. Glimpse is available at TP. He got to go home for half a second to say goodbye to the family. Spell off, you're in so much trouble. Bottom lane, Nick just forcing TPs inside the base. Yeah, oh you're in the rush. My god! <laughs> the folly save had no chance to survive this, and Whispers just rolling, thundering around, swashbuckling as he goes. And Resolution's run back in. Silenced oh up, slowed up, and then glimpsed back over. He has no BKB for protection, just the shallow grave. But look at Chris playing from the side, exactly where he wants to be with that volley. Resolution has to buy back, so does Solo. The Triumph, they get the damage out, but it kills off only the Aegis, the Immortal Bloodseeker. Solo gets swung by Bark, and another glimpse. Resolution, BKB or not, Shallow Grave or not, he is totally dead. And I think with it, the hopes of this game. That's the second time I've seen K1DX. Uh, you haven't even taken a second lane of Rax yet, guys. I know you feel confident. And Chris wants to go. His volley just came back off cooldown. Oh, we know he's getting towards the trees. Yeah. Be careful. Turn it around. Whisper needs to land the stun. And now no one. Boom, boom, boom. BKB, he'll move up. Team? <laughs> is he being out? <laughs> what is this? K was like, am I the only one playing objective base? Throughout the winter, hibernating <laughs> till that second major. Right, that's when we see the real test happen as the team fight's already going to begin. Lashrak up next to the bounty runes. That's what they decided to fight over. No, no one. And back lines, Chris trying to get some of this damage out, but he can't do it. He's in the middle of four, five heroes from Virtus Pro, dead for 100 seconds. And a jump forward, Lashrak, Spike Carapace stunned up. He couldn't really get himself free of that one. They need to keep him control with a shield crush, bouncing through a little bit too deep there for the Pango. And he's actually kind of trapped on the edge of Roshan's cliff. And maybe, Beast Coast, were you too aggressive? This game was not in the bag yet. K1 is going to try and put it there, going after Silencer, but the Shallow Grave will end up protecting him. And Beast Coast will back off. All the chosen Bloodseeker scouting out the rupture over on Silencer. Man, he takes so much damage, getting pushed away by the Rolling oh, Thunder. No, no Whisper! <laughs> Chomp yourself down! Never go full RTZ. The BKB will not protect Dazzle. He has to shell grave himself up. Epi Epic Kid on the run from K1 before Star forward by the next Assassin. Keeps that distance nice and close for K1. Three heroes oh. down. That's a little bit of composure, and they get the GG call out. Beast Coast will get a 4 0 record for day two of ESL1 yeah, I, repairing their 04 of day one.